after an incredibly fast, frantic, hurried, rushed sunset shoot, which I almost made a mess of, uh, trying to set up the trying to set up the video cam to record the sunset, and in fairness, I probably missed the best of the the light on the photograph. So after that shoot, I decided to I decided to drive around about 40 minutes out of town to the back blocks, which is on the back end of a new moon. So we've got a slither of a crescent moon outside which means it's pretty dark. This time of year we're just coming into Milky Way hunting season where the core will become quite visible, quite prominent in the night sky. Unfortunately, as I've driven out of town, the cloud has bubbled up. I've just been out of the van for a quick recce and there looks to be a lot of high cloud out there. Not a lot of clear breaks to, to see really. So unfortunately, we may not get the Milky Way. We may not get any stars at all. What I also like doing is photographing the moving clouds in the night sky and that always makes some quite nice shots. If we're lucky, we'll get a little bit of a break in the clouds and we'll get some stars popping through there, which always looks quite funky. When I'm parked, there's a couple of big old trees outside, so they're going to be the uh, the focal point with the uh, night sky behind. We're shooting tonight with the old workhorse Nikon D3S, cracking little camera. We're going to stick on the Samyang 40mm f2.8 manual focus lens. She's a she's a beast, it's it's cheap, it's solid, it's reliable, good glass, and stick it on, stick it on infinity and we're laughing. Beautiful lens. ISO 3200, f2.8, and depending how I feel, maybe 20, 25, 30 second exposures, and we're just gonna see how we go. All right guys, let's crack on. So I'm back in the van as you can see. I've, I've spent maybe an hour driving around, looking for a, a potential tree, something that's going to make a good foreground. Jumping out of the van, getting a few shots, back in the van and off. Uh, and I've done that two or three different locations and I've caught some really nice photographs actually. On the back of the camera they look really sweet. And what I did, just to, just to complement the photographs, instead of having the tree, the main subject in silhouette, which it was, I decided to uh, add a little bit of light for my head torch and just to, just to paint with light, as they say, and just to bring out the rich tones and textures of the subject. And I think it's worked out quite well, actually. I've just packed up for the night uh, down at a beautiful little spot called uh, Moncton Bush Reserve. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous place. Hope you enjoy these photographs, guys, and it certainly won't be the last time we do a bit of, uh, bit of nightscaping. All right, guys, for now, catch you later. Mm -hmm.